Hey guys, Zach Marsh here, and this is my review of One Piece Season 1, Episode 14. So, the episode starts off where it left off, and this episode is interesting because it shows just how much these earlier episodes were padded out to keep up with the pace of the manga being released. Because this entire episode takes place within a span of five minutes, and it's in a half an hour. Okay, you you guys get it? You guys get it? I sure hope so. Okay, so the episode start starts off with all of the black cats looking up at Cloudor and becoming terrified. And Cloudor realizes that the pirates may have gotten soft since his absence. And then everybody, and then everybody else, especially the black cat, black cat Meow Band brothers. They accuse Cloudor of being soft because he spent three years on land, whereas they spent three years being pirates. And Cloudor easily defeats them, and but it does it decides not to kill them and gives them five minutes to finish it all off. And then he decides to kill them after that if they haven't finished it. And while he, he's doing this, Jenga remarks how he hasn't really slowed down at all, and that he still practices his techniques and his fighting daily, to this day, to the to the day. And then, as this is happening, Nami realizes that they that they're going after Zoro because Zoro is meant for the most part the one standing in their way, and easily defeats him with his, and easily defeats them, but because. But only because Nami kicks his swords back to him and then uses his three sword style to send him flying, killing one of them and the other one survives. Mainly because of his thick fat and begs to be hypnotized. And it turns him into a hulking monster and he charges toward um, Zoro. Meanwhile, Nami realizes they need Luffy to level out the fight and goes running after him. Only it's revealed that the Hypno Ring on Django's pendulum is actually a throwing disc, and he throws it at Nami's head and almost takes her head off. Except at that moment, she steps on Luffy's face to wake him up, and he jumps up at that moment to save her and takes it in the teeth. He's only slightly hurt because he didn't get hit in the teeth with a, with a, with a blade, but he s breaks it with his teeth nonetheless. And they realize that they don't have enough time to deal with him because he's so powerful. But they, tr but they, tr but Django says that he will handle him. While Butchie, the remaining Meow Band brother, handles Zoro. And then, as all this is happening, Kaya shows up. And, and accidentally sneaks up on Cloudor from behind. She almost slashes. He almost slashes her in the face, but Usopp jumps out of the way and saves him, and saves her at the last minute. And she apologizes to him, say, stating that he wasn't, that she should have believed him, but didn't. And then goes to confront Cloudor and tells them that he, that she'll willingly give up all of her fortune if he just leaves. But Cloudor states that he wants a peace of mind, so that, so that because he wants to see the, the town basically be destroyed, and Kaya realizing she's been manipulated for the past three years pulls a gun on him, and tries to shoot him, but it doesn't exactly work out that way because Cloudor at this point manipulates her emotions to basically get her. To basically get her to drop the gun, and then he does, and then reveals his true intentions and throws the gun to the ground. And Kuro re and Kuro doesn't realize that um, Usopp is at his feet still, gr and then grabs the gun and tries to shoot him, but misses somehow because apparently Cloudor is faster than a speeding bullet. Um, okay, but and then has Usopp's head in his, in his little um, cat claw gloves and almost finish him right then and there until Luffy from 30 feet away punches him right in the jaw and puts an end to him and knocks him out right there 
and that's um, pretty much where the episode ends because the next episode is basically showcases the fight between the two of them. Um, okay, so yeah, this episode kind of is where Kaya realizes that Claudor wasn't such a nice guy after all, and that Usopp and Usopp finally has a re cheerful reunion with Kaya because she realizes that she was wrong and should have believed him to begin with and decides to confront Claudor herself instead of running away from her problems and letting Usopp deal with it himself which is kind of a powerful message kind of it's like don't run away from your problems unless they're a pirate that can kill you with a single flick of his wrist in which case yeah probably should run away from your problems but anyway if you guys have seen this episode of one piece what did you guys think let's get a discussion going in the comment section down below or over on my discord server link in the description as always either way thank you guys so much for watching this episode if you liked it hit that like and that subscribe button also be sure to follow me on facebook and on twitter in the description below in the description below and until next time, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.